Hey there, how are you today? Good. Welcome to the Crystal Guardian Game Store. And have you been here before? You have? Okay. Um, let me just get your file up and we can see what you got last time and we can go from there. Okay. What's the name? Okay. Yeah. And the address, please. Just your postcode or zip code will do. Perfect. So I can see here that last time you worked for PS4 games. Yep. And you actually came in last time as well. Okay. So have you been in twice? Yes. And that was for PS1 games, right? That's right. So <clears throat> let me just update this. And what are you actually after today? Retro Nintendo games. Okay, so are we talking about how old exactly Nintendo? Um, I think. So we have the Super Nintendo, the SNES, and then we have the N64, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, Nintendo DS, Nintendo DS Lite, Nintendo 3DS, and then we obviously have the Switch. N64 and Game Boy. Okay. Brilliant. We can definitely have a lot of them in stock at the moment, actually. Anyway, we have colours and what about DSs? Um, yeah, we can have a look at a few 3DSs. Not a problem. And we have some DS Lite. Would you like to see them? Okay, great. That's brilliant. And can you just let me know your price range, please, as well today? Not a problem. That's great. Anyway, how's your sort of gaming been recently? What have you been playing? Oh really? Amazing, great. That is a great game. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, I've nearly completed it now, but I've obviously, because of my habits, I've been <laughs> trying not to complete it because I'm enjoying it so much. So there we go. But we do have quite a bit of post game in Legends Arceus, so it's not, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to show you actually is probably we're going to go from oldest to newest and I have it right over here and I'm hopefully has got the game inside as well. So, this is the N64. Uh, so yeah, the N64, there's a lot of iconic games. In the mo At the moment, we have um, Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is obviously a classic, one of the best Zelda games. I wasn't a personal fan of um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, sometimes I find open, open world games a bit too much, especially because I haven't got that many, um, much time to game anymore, running the game store, obviously. <laughs> so um, yeah, so obviously, I do like something that's a bit more story-based, story-driven rather. So yeah, we have this, and this is actually the memory expansion, which I think this has a hard drive in there, which is great. So you have plenty of memory on there. Um, we have the remove on and off. So I think that could actually be to remove this or not remove it, so lock in maybe. Then we have the reset button, very, very basic really, as it is an old console. We have where the controllers go here. And yeah, there is a lot of good games on um, the N64. Um, if you're looking for Pokemon games, they have Pokemon, um, Pokemon, not Coliseum, Pokemon Stadium, um, which was the first sort of 3D Pokemon game really. And it is um, really cool. And obviously we have the old Pokemon Snap as well. Um, so yeah, there are two games that you could obviously play. But yeah, and it's one of my favorites personally. And we've just got this in and it's like brand new. So that is great. And I'm just going to show you the controller as well because controllers are a little bit different I'll just show you it but they're very iconic I think the controllers the N64 so here we go it's a very vibrant color um, the N64 actually came in a lot of different um, colors and designs as well which I think is really cool 
Let's see, you have this little analog stick here in the middle. Um, start button, start your console, and we have the old A and B and directional buttons. But um, yeah, there's a lot of also a lot of two-player games on Nintendo. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a GameCube here. Otherwise, I would like to show you that. Um, but we definitely hope to get one in soon. But yeah, I actually find these are so comfortable and they're a good size. And I quite like the bit in the middle because either hand you can actually use this, which I think is great. So that is the N64, and we do have other games to go with that as well. But we can have a look at them later. Um, are you just more after a console today? Okay, no problem. Also, I also have some sort of vintage Pokemon games as well. Would you be interested? Yeah, brilliant. That's brilliant. Okay. So, next we are going on to the Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color. And this one will come with a back. I was just testing it before we put it up for sale. And this is in perfect working order. So yes, the Game Boy Color. Um, where do I start about the Game Boy Color? I think um, it's so iconic, really. There's so many games. We had some Zelda games. We had the first Pokemon games, which is like, great. Um, we also um, do like a light that comes with this. Because um, they never used to be able to play it in the dark. I think it's when the Game Boy Advance came in, you actually had a light up screen, which is quite funny. Because I remember when I was a kid, we weren't actually able to play them in the dark, you had to have the lights on, which is really annoying when you want it to be under your pillow, um, under your duvet, sorry, and just playing your game, make it cosy. But, um, so you have to have the lights on, unfortunately. But here we go, this is the game of colour, and we actually have some games I can show you for that as well. We have Pokemon the Blue version, and because these are so old, um, the ones we have in haven't actually got the cases. I have put them in these little Pokemon sleeves to keep them dust free but I do really like these they are really sweet and yeah so Pokemon Blue as you probably know it starts in Kanto and it is the first Pokemon game um, including Red obviously they were the two different versions as Pokemon have always done um, you start in Kanto um, as um, I think it's yeah only a little boy in the first ones I think Chris uh, the girl playable character came into Crystal. But yeah, Kanto is very, um, it follows like the first anime. It doesn't follow the first map, but if you've seen the original anime, it's in Kanto. You, you know all the gym leaders and etc, etc. And you have the original 151 Pokemon. You can choose between Charmander, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Um, yeah, and you have Mewtwo at the end of the game. Um, but my personal favourite game, Pokemon game, is the amazing Pokemon Crystal version. So, in Pokemon Crystal, it's basically the better version of Gold and Silver. And in this, you also get to go to Kanto. Um, it's a bit smaller than the original Kanto, but once you complete Johto, you will actually get to play um, in Kanto as well, which I think is really super cool and adds so much more to the game. You also get to defeat Red at the end, post-game. It's a lot of post-game. The only sad thing is that some of the Pokemon are actually um, locked into uh, Kanto, some of the Johto Pokemon. So my one of my favourite Pokemon is Houndoom. And it's not actually can't get him in until you get into Kanto, which is a bit sad. But there we go. I did use a Mega Haldun in Pokemon X, and that was quite fun. So yeah, that's Pokemon Crystal. And Pokemon Crystal differs because the story is more based on, well, it's got a side story based on Suicune. And um, she is one of the legendary beasts. I call them legendary dogs, but I don't know if they're dogs. You know, people say they're not, people say they are. But anyway, so yeah, this is a Suicune, and um, yeah, you will get to catch her a bit easier than you will Raikou in Entei, um, hopefully. Anyway, so, oh, and in Pokemon Crystal, you start off with Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Torchic. Um, and actually, they're my favourite set of starters, but I think I might just need a Stolger, if I'm honest. So, next we have two options for the DS Lite. We have a black DS Lite, and the white DS Lite. Which one do you prefer? 
yeah, we'll take a look at both. Yeah, they're not much different inside, obviously, but we can just have a look, really. So, we have a nice dual screen here. This one is actually in perfect condition. So this is where you're going, and there's actually a game in here at the moment. This is Final Fantasy III. There was a lot of Final Fantasy games ported onto the DS. Um, DS games I've played are Bravely Default, or the Pokemon games, obviously. And there's a few Kingdom Hearts games as well you can get on the DS. Um, but I'm not, yeah, I only really play Nintendo for Pokemon myself, and everything else I play is usually on the PlayStation. But yes, I do love my Nintendo consoles, and this is why we have quite a lot in, because I have obviously been looking for them. So, that is the black Nintendo DS Lite. And this is the white, not maybe not quite in good condition, but again, it is white, so. But I am very, very fond of these. I just think they're really a sweet little console. Um, you know, remember Nintendogs and stuff like that, um, which were all playable on these. Um, this is where your earphones obviously go in, pretty basic, volume button is here. Um, and we have the charging port on the back as well, and the rear bumpers. Um, the white one's my personal favourite. Um, it just needs a little bit of a clean up, and I do that before you go as well, but it is white, like I say. Um, so yes, and these are, these are actually easier to change the battery. I had a lot of problems with my 3DS back in the day, but I do, I think we have a 2DS here for you to look at. Um, anyway, I'm just going to show you one of the Pokemon games, as you said you're interested. Um, so this is Pokemon Soul Silver. And this is very, very expensive at the moment. As you can see, I bought it for £35 a few years ago, but this has gone up to about £50. But I can definitely do you a deal if you do decide to, you want a DS. And this is for the Nintendo DS. I will mention as well, the Nintendo DS Lite have gone up in value, which is really cool as well. So that is obviously a collector's item you are um, uh, collecting as well if you were to purchase that so i'm just going to show you the back as well the art is amazing obviously i'm just going to open this up it still has the manual and i think you might just like to have a look at that so if we have lugia in the front and this is the same as um crystal i've shown you you have your three starters syndical total and a chikorita you have ho-ho and lugia the two legendaries and it is actually really nice to see a complete um, manual, to be fair. It's really sweet. Because um, they don't really do manuals. I might just have a look in the back for you, see if there's any notes this person has written. No, it looks clean to me. And um, we don't actually have a poker walker. But um, that is something you might be able to find on eBay, actually. And they are quite sweet. So yeah, this does follow the actual um, normal game. Um, um, the crystal, sorry, the game uh, we talked about before. Apart from um, it has better mechanics now, has all the abilities, and anything was introduced um, generation four prior. And um, um, basically, you ha also have a following Pokemon follow you, which is really cool. Um, uh, I think it's the first time they did it. Obviously, the Pikachu in yellow, but that is a really cool feature because you grow that bond with your Pokemon, which is really nice. Also, so um, going up a little bit newer than that, we have the Nintendo 2DS, which is basically the same as Nintendo 3DS. They're playing Nintendo 3DS games, but some of them don't actually. Um, I bought Xenoblade. Xenoblade? I think it was Xenoblade, yeah. Um, oh, Zenu, yeah, Xenoblade. And um, basically, it can't play it, it hasn't got the feature that the 3DS has, but this definitely does play everything else. I've played Dream Drop Distance on this as well, which is a Kingdom Hearts game, because I'm quite into Kingdom Hearts. Um, but yes, um, this is also in one of your options, and we have the newer Pokemon games for this. We have um, Pokemon X and Y, we have both of them. We have Pokemon... Um, 
we have Pokemon Sun and Moon, and we have uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire as well. So, um, are any of those you're interested in today? The Nintendo 64, I think that's a good choice. Brilliant. And do you want Pokemon Crystal as well? Yeah, and um, what about the Game Boy? You have your own. Oh, no problem then. You have a Game Boy Advance SP. Yeah, you can still play those games on there. Not a problem. So let me just um, do a tally for you, a tally up of the price, and then um, we can see exactly how much that will come to for you, okay? Brilliant. Anyway, while I'm just logging on and finding out for you, I'm just going to see what discounts we can give you as you, this is your third time here and have you got your loyalty card you have thank you cheers I see you had it ready there very quickly for me thank you yes okay let me just have a look okay Pokemon Crystal and Nintendo 64 um, would you like Zelda as well with that? I'm willing to actually let you let you have that with with the console for the price of the console. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so with your discount, we are asking for about one hundred and twenty pounds. So okay, yeah, this is a vintage um, vintage console at the end of the day, and they do hold their price. And we have Pokemon Crystal, which would be pretty hard to get hold of, but that is at a discounted price as it hasn't got the box, and we do appreciate that in the value of the price. So, yes, um, then I'm going to give you a £20 discount to our last um, customer of the day, and I'm feeling generous and I do like having a chat with you every time it comes. So I'm going to say £100 overall, okay? So that's for Pokemon Crystal, Nintendo 64, and Zelda Ocarina of Time. Is that okay with you? Brilliant. Okay, so I will just give you a moment. To, have you got cash or card? Cash, okay, no problem. Thank you. That's brilliant. So let me just write a note down for next time. We just like keeping this database here because we like to really get it up when a customer comes in. We make, like to make it more a personalized experience for them. And also it helps us get the right stock in because we don't have like the normal stock here, if I'm honest. We um, try to be a bit more niche than other game stores because newer games and whatnot. We do have some newer games, but we find a nice array of games is the way to go. Okay, so we have your Nintendo 64, enjoy. I'm just gonna put them over there for you. And Pokemon Crystal, I'm sure you have so much fun with Pokemon Crystal, honestly. Um, it just has a certain charm for me. Okay, brilliant. So I hope you have enjoyed your time here and um, I enjoy, I'd like, I look forward to seeing you again, okay? Goodbye.